Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Alan Levine actually emigrated to the United States from Great Britain and is a naturalized American. Alan, could you explain how your father is an inspiration for your concept of a new Israel? My father um, loved Israel, and uh, he used to buy Israeli bombs. He always talked up Israel. How did you choose Texas as the site for New Israel? I wanted to find an area that had a similar climate, had access to the ocean for international trade, and had sufficient uh, property without crisscrossing um, state or federal highways. So just as Upper and Lower Michigan are separated by Lake Michigan, Israel and New Israel would be separated by the Atlantic Ocean. And all of this depends on Israel relinquishing land gained during the Six Days War in 1967, right? Uh, that is correct. How would you appropriate the land? I would use uh, eminent domain. However, I prefer not to do that because few people who live in that strip of land may not want to move or may not want to sell their property. Uh, so I would have the federal government uh, offer them multiples of what the land is worth to make the residents extremely wealthy and let them keep the property. They will become dual citizens of the United States. What are the benefits to the U.S.? We wouldn't be pouring $3 billion a year down the drain, giving it to Israel. Have you talked this over with fellow Republican Texas Governor Rick Perry? No, I have not. He has not called me, and I have not called him. The 1960 movie, Exodus, tells the story of how Israel was formed in 1948. The title song includes a line that says, This land is mine. God gave this land to me. Implying that the creation of Israel in the 20th century rested on a biblical promise in which God gave the Holy Land to the Jews. With this in mind, is it acceptable for Texas to substitute for part of Israel? What I'm saying is that the original Israel can stay put, the one which is pre-1967, which is, should satisfy the non-sexual people in Israel, and the more secular-oriented Israelis who want to live in peace but still be part of Israel, and then move to uh, the new Israel in Texas, wherever it happens to be. Alan, I've heard that you were originally running for Congress in as many as four states. Is it just down to Georgia and Hawaii now? We've met the requirements in Hawaii and, of course, Georgia, where I'm actively running on the May, for the May 20th primary. So we're down to two states. Thanks for talking with us. Alan Levine is a congressional candidate living in the Atlanta area. I'm Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.